Have you ever wondered which Lovecraftian monsters are the most terrifying? Today, we're covering the top 10 frightening HP Lovecraft monsters that'll be sure to give you nightmares. Stick around if you dare. Dive into the abyss of cosmic horror and you'll find Cthulhu, a monstrous entity from the depths of space whose lore has captivated minds and chilled souls for decades. Picture a colossal creature, part octopus, part dragon, and wholly terrifying, slumbering beneath the waves in the lost city of Relia. Cthulhu, the great dreamer, waits in its underwater tomb, biding its time until the stars align and it can rise again to reclaim its dominion over Earth. This being is not of our world, but from the cosmos, originating from a place beyond the stars. Cthulhu is one of the great Old Ones, ancient deities that once ruled the Earth before the advent of humans. They are beings of immense power, with knowledge and abilities beyond our understanding. Cthulhu, in particular, has the power to infiltrate the dreams of the mortals, planting seeds of madness and chaos. The city of Rillier, where Cthulhu lies in wait, is said to be a place of unimaginable architecture, with non-Euclidean geometry and structures that defy the laws of physics. It is a city that exists between dimensions, only occasionally breaking through to our world when the conditions are right. When Rillier rises, so does Cthulhu, bringing with it a wave of madness and destruction. The cult of Cthulhu is vast and secretive, with followers spread across the globe. These cultists worship the Great Old One, performing dark rituals and sacrifices in the hope of hastening Cthulhu's return. They believe that when Cthulhu rises, they will be granted untold power and knowledge, and that the world will be remade in their image. But the allure of Cthulhu is not limited to secret cults and ancient lore. It has also permeated popular culture, inspiring a genre of fiction known as Lovecraftian horror, named after the writer H.P. Lovecraft, who first introduced Cthulhu to the world in his short story, The Call of Cthulhu. Lovecraft's depiction of Cthulhu as an ancient cosmic deity that exists beyond our understanding has resonated with readers and writers alike, spawning a plethora of stories, games, and artwork based on the Cthulhu mythos. Imagine a universe filled with creatures of the most bizarre and awe-inspiring kind, where the lines between reality and nightmare blur. In this strange cosmos, there exists a being named Tsathogua, an entity so ancient and enigmatic that even the gods of old would tremble at its name. Tsathogua hails from the dark and distant void of space, a place beyond the realms of time and comprehension known as Nakai. Picture a world of complete darkness where light is swallowed whole and the air is thick with mystery and magic. This is the domain of Tsathogua, a deity of sloth, darkness, and forbidden knowledge. Tsathogwa, also known as Jothakwa or Sadagoa, is no ordinary god. It is described as an amorphous, toad-like creature with a furry body and bat-like wings, a testament to its otherworldly origin. Despite its grotesque appearance, Tsathogwa holds power beyond imagination, with the ability to bend reality and manipulate time and space. This entity is not bound by the rules of the cosmos, for it existed long before the stars were born, and it will continue to exist long after they have died. The lore of Tsathogwa is intertwined with tales of forbidden sorcery and ancient cults. Throughout history, secret societies have worshipped this dark deity, performing rituals and sacrifices in its name, hoping to gain a fraction of its unimaginable power. Tsathogwa's followers believe that through communion with this entity, they can unlock secrets of the universe and attain power beyond their wildest dreams. However, dealing with such a being comes at a great cost, for Tsatogwa is a deity of chaos and madness, and those who dare to tread its path often find themselves lost in a world of darkness and insanity. The allure of Tsatogwa lies in its mystery and the forbidden knowledge it possesses. It is said that this entity holds the answers to the universe's greatest mysteries, 
from the secrets of creation to the paths to other dimensions. Adventurers and scholars alike have sought the wisdom of Tsatogua, delving into ancient texts and forbidden tombs in search of a way to communicate with this enigmatic being. But beware, for the path to Tsatogua is fraught with danger, and those who seek its knowledge must be prepared to pay the price. Tsatogua's influence is not limited to secret cults and ancient lore. It has also found its way into popular culture, inspiring writers and artists to create works of fiction based on this fascinating entity. From the tales of H.P. Lovecraft to the dark fantasies of Clark Ashton Smith, Tsatogwa has captured the imagination of many, becoming a symbol of the unknown and the allure of forbidden knowledge. So venture forth, dear reader, into the dark and mysterious world of Tsatogwa, Explore its ancient temples, decipher its forbidden texts, and commune with its dark disciples. But be warned, for the path of Tsatogua is not for the faint of heart, and those who seek its secrets must be prepared to face the unknown and embrace the darkness within. Venture into the cosmic abyss, and you'll find yourself in the presence of Azathoth, the nucleus of chaos and the ruler of the unfathomable universe. Picture a deity so powerful and incomprehensible, its mere existence defies the limits of human understanding. Azathoth, also known as the blind idiot god, or the nuclear chaos, is at the center of all things, a swirling chaotic force that commands the cosmos without awareness or intention. Azathoth is not a god in the traditional sense, it's something much more vast and terrifying. Imagine a blind, formless mass of bubbling and churning energy existing outside of time and space. Around it, lesser beings dance and play their mad music in a never-ending celebration designed to keep Azathoth slumbering. For if Azathoth were ever to wake, it would mean the end of all existence as we know it. The lore of Azathoth is shrouded in mystery and steeped in madness. It is said that this deity is the source of all creation, that our universe is but a dream in the mind of Azathoth. Picture a reality that is unstable and ever-changing, subject to the whims of a deity that doesn't even know it exists. This is the world of Azathoth, a place where logic and reason have no hold and where the only certainty is chaos. Despite its chaotic nature, or perhaps because of it, Azathoth has garnered a cult following. These worshippers, known as the Cult of Azathoth, believe that by devoting themselves to the blind idiot god, they can tap into its raw, chaotic power. They perform eldritch rituals and dark ceremonies, all in the name of Azathoth, hoping to gain a glimpse into the true nature of the cosmos. The influence of Azathoth can be felt throughout literature and popular culture, inspiring writers and artists to explore the themes of chaos, madness, and the insignificance of human existence. From the works of H.P. Lovecraft, who first introduced Azathoth to the world, to the myriad of stories and artworks that have followed, Azathoth continues to captivate and terrify audiences around the globe. Embark on a journey into the depths of the unknown, and you will find Dagon, a monstrous deity that dwells in the shadowy realms of H.P. Lovecraft's imagination. This colossal entity, half fish and half humanoid, reigns over the vast and mysterious depths of the sea, ruling a kingdom of aquatic horrors beyond human comprehension. Dagon, named after the ancient Philistine deity, is no mere mythological figure. It is a being of immense power and terror, brought to life in the chilling narrative of Lovecraft's short story, Dagon. Imagine a World War soldier lost and alone, stumbling upon an ancient and forgotten city submerged beneath the waves. It is here, in this eerie and desolate place, that he encounters Dagon, a godlike creature of nightmarish proportions. The lore of Dagon is intertwined with that of the Deep Ones, a race of amphibious beings that worship the monstrous deity. These creatures, human in shape but fish-like in nature, are said to reside in underwater cities, hidden from the eyes of mankind. They are the loyal servants of Dagon, 
offering sacrifices and prayers in exchange for his favor and protection. Dagon's influence is not confined to the watery depths. It reaches out to the land, ensnaring the minds of humans with its eldritch power. Those who encounter Dagon, or even hear of its existence, find themselves plagued by haunting dreams and visions, drawn inexorably towards the sea and the dark secrets it holds. The line between reality and nightmare blurs as Dagon's victims are driven to madness and despair. The legacy of Dagon lives on in Lovecraft's Cthulhu mythos, where it is revered as one of the great old ones, ancient and powerful beings that exist beyond the boundaries of time and space. Dagon's story is a chilling reminder of the small and insignificant place humanity holds in the grand scheme of the cosmos and of the ancient and incomprehensible forces that lurk just beyond our understanding. Immerse yourself in the eerie and mysterious world of Glaki, an ancient and malevolent entity from the imaginative universe of H.P. Lovecraft and his literary successors. This enigmatic being, also known as the inhabitant of the lake, is a creature of unfathomable power and insidious intent lurking in the hidden corners of our world. Picture a monstrous entity resembling a gigantic slug, adorned with spines and possessing a sinister intelligence. Glaki dwells in the depths of secluded lakes, waiting patiently for its prey to draw near. With an aura of decay and desolation surrounding it, Glaki is not a creature to be taken lightly. The lore of Glaki is intricately woven with tales of forbidden knowledge and dark rituals. It is said that this ancient being possesses the power to grant immortality to those it deems worthy. But this gift comes at a terrible price. For those who accept Glaki's boon are bound to it for eternity, transformed into undead servants known as the servants of Glaki. These wretched creatures, once human, are now doomed to serve their monstrous master, performing dark deeds and spreading Glaki's influence throughout the land. They are bound by the waters of the lake, unable to stray too far from their master's side, and they are driven by a relentless hunger for flesh and blood. The Cult of Glaki is a secretive and dangerous group, dedicated to the worship and service of the inhabitant of the lake. They perform dark and forbidden rituals, seeking to commune with Glaki and gain its favor. They believe that by serving the ancient entity, they can attain power and knowledge beyond their wildest dreams. The legacy of Glaki is not confined to the realm of horror fiction. It has also found its way into popular culture, inspiring writers and artists to create works of fiction based on this chilling entity. From the pages of Lovecraft's tales to the stories of other writers who have expanded upon the Cthulhu mythos, Glaki continues to captivate and terrify audiences around the globe. Prepare yourself for a journey into the ancient and unknown, as we unravel the mysteries of Gatanothoa, a being of unimaginable power and terror from the mind of H.P. Lovecraft and his literary circle. This monstrous entity, colossal and awe-inspiring, slumbers beneath the surface of the South Pacific, waiting for the moment to rise and unleash chaos upon the world. Picture a godlike creature, vast in size and terrifying in appearance, with the power to petrify any who lay eyes upon it. Gatanothoa, the dark god of Mount Yadith Go, is worshipped by secret cults and feared by all who know of its existence. Its story is one of ancient rituals, forbidden knowledge, and the relentless pursuit of power. Long ago, Gatanothoa was trapped beneath the mountain by powerful beings known as the Elder Gods, who sought to protect the world from its devastating power. But even from its subterranean prison, Gatanothoa's influence spreads, corrupting the minds of mortals and drawing worshippers to its dark cult. The cult of Gatanothoa is secretive and fanatical, dedicating their lives to the worship of the Dark God and the performance of eldritch rituals. They believe that by serving Gatanothoa, they can gain favor 
and be spared from its petrifying gaze. They seek ancient texts and forbidden knowledge, all in the pursuit of bringing their dark god back into the world. But the tale of Gata Nothoa is not just a story of gods and cults, it is also a warning about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. Those who seek to control Gatanothoa's power often find themselves overwhelmed and destroyed, their minds shattered by the sheer enormity of what they have unleashed. As we delve deeper into the lore of Gatanothoa, we find a story that is as compelling as it is terrifying. A tale of ancient gods, dark rituals, and the fragile nature of the human mind. It is a story that has captivated readers and writers alike, inspiring works of fiction, art and film that continue to explore the dark and mysterious world of Gata Nothoa. Step into a realm beyond the edges of reality and brace yourself as we unravel the intricate tapestry of Yog sothoth one of the most enigmatic and omnipotent beings in the cosmic universe of H.P. Lovecraft. This transcendent entity embodies the very fabric of existence, holding the keys to infinite knowledge and the secrets of time and space. yog sothoth is not confined by the limits of physical form or dimension. It exists simultaneously in all places and all times. Imagine a presence that is both everywhere and every when, its essence intertwined with the very fabric of the universe. To comprehend yog sothoth is to gaze into the abyss of infinity, to grapple with the incomprehensible nature of existence itself. The lore of yog sothoth weaves a tale of forbidden knowledge and cosmic revelation. It is said that those who seek to commune with this all-knowing entity are granted glimpses of the past, present and future, their minds open to the vast and limitless expanse of the cosmos. But such knowledge comes at a grave cost, for the human mind is not meant to grasp the fullness of yog sothoths being, and those who dare to delve too deeply are often driven to madness or obliteration. Throughout Lovecraft's works, yog sothoth is invoked and referenced in hushed tones and cryptic passages, its name synonymous with forbidden lore and eldritch power. It is both a source of wisdom and a gateway to other dimensions, its nature inherently linked to the arcane and the mysterious. The cult of yog sothoth is comprised of those who seek to draw near to this cosmic entity to bask in its all-encompassing knowledge. They perform dark and forbidden rituals, uttering incantations and offering sacrifices in the hope of glimpsing the universe through the eyes of yog sothoth But the path they tread is fraught with danger, for to commune with such an entity is to expose oneself to the raw and untamed forces of the cosmos. The influence of yog sothoth permeates throughout literature and pop culture, inspiring awe and terror in equal measure. From the written works of Lovecraft and his contemporaries to the countless adaptations and references in film, games and art, yog sothoth continues to captivate and intrigue audiences around the world. Dive deep into the dark and enigmatic world of Nyarlathotep, the shape-shifting deity that dances through the pages of H.P. Lovecraft's tales leaving chaos and madness in his wake. Unlike the other cosmic entities of Lovecraft's universe, Nyarlathotep revels in sowing discord and destruction, all while wearing a myriad of disturbing forms. Imagine a being that is not bound by shape or form, able to transform at will, taking on the guise of anything from a tall, swarthy man to monstrous and indescribable horrors. Nyarlathotep, also known as the Crawling Chaos, is a messenger of the Outer Gods, serving as their voice and agent in the mortal realm. But do not be fooled. This entity is not a mere servant. Nyarlathotep possesses a malevolent intelligence and cruel sense of humor, taking pleasure in manipulating and tormenting humans. The lore of Nyarlathotep spans across various cultures and civilizations, with each encounter revealing a different facet of this enigmatic deity. He appears in ancient Egyptian mythology as a dark pharaoh, bringing plagues and disaster, 
and in other tales, he takes on more eldritch and otherworldly forms, each more terrifying than the last. Nyarlathotep's true power lies in his ability to drive humans to madness. With a mere whisper, he can unravel the fabric of one's sanity, leading them down a spiraling path of paranoia and despair. He delights in these games of psychological torment, reveling in the chaos and suffering he creates. Throughout Lovecraft's works, Nyarlathotep serves as a harbinger of doom, his appearances often signaling the unleashing of cosmic forces beyond human comprehension. He is both a messenger and a message, a living embodiment of the uncaring and chaotic nature of the universe. But the influence of Nyarlathotep extends beyond the pages of Lovecraft's stories. He has become a symbol of cosmic horror and existential dread, inspiring countless writers, artists, and filmmakers to explore the dark and unsettling corners of the human psyche. Embark on a journey through the chilling and mysterious lore of the Migo, enigmatic creatures that lurk within the shadows of H.P. Lovecraft's cosmic universe. These beings, also known as the Fungi from Yagoth, originate from the distant planet of Yagoth, located on the very edge of our solar system. With their bizarre and otherworldly appearance, the Migo challenge the very boundaries of human understanding. Imagine, if you will, creatures that are neither entirely animal nor entirely fungus. With wings that allow them to traverse the vastness of space, claws for manipulating objects, and a form that seems to defy all natural laws, the Migo are truly a sight to behold. Their ability to communicate through a series of strange, buzzing noises adds an extra layer of mystery to their already enigmatic nature. The Migo are known for their advanced technology and scientific prowess, capable of performing feats that seem like magic to the untrained eye. They are particularly fascinated with the human brain, which they are able to extract and preserve, keeping it alive in a strange and alien device. This bizarre and macabre process allows the Migo to transport human consciousness across the stars, offering a twisted form of immortality. As you delve deeper into the lore of the Migo, you will uncover tales of secret mining operations in the remote hills of Vermont, where these creatures extract valuable resources for their inscrutable purposes. The locals tell hushed stories of strange lights in the sky and eerie sounds that echo through the night, all linked to the clandestine activities of the Migo. But the Migo are not just simple miners. They are also known to make deals with humans, offering knowledge and technological wonders in exchange for cooperation. However, these deals come at a price, and those who choose to align themselves with the Migo may find themselves entangled in a web of cosmic intrigue and danger. The influence of the Migo extends beyond the realms of Lovecraft's stories, capturing the imagination of writers, artists, and fans of the Cthulhu mythos. They have become a symbol of the unknown and the unknowable, representing the thin and fragile boundary between science and the supernatural. Embark on a captivating journey through the twisted and enigmatic lore of Shub Niggurath, a deity shrouded in mystery and terror within the pages of H.P. Lovecraft's cosmic universe. Known as the Black Goat of the Woods with a Thousand Young, this entity's presence looms large, weaving a dark tapestry of horror and fascination, Picture an ancient, powerful being, both awe-inspiring and utterly terrifying. Shub Niggurath defies comprehension, described as a grotesque mass of seething darkness, spawning countless horrifying offspring. This deity's connection to fertility and reproduction only adds to its unsettling nature, as it brings forth life in the most macabre and unnatural ways. The lore of Shub Niggurath is steeped in forbidden rituals and dark ceremonies. Cultists gather in secluded woods, chanting incantations and making sinister offerings in the hope of gaining favor or glimpses of forbidden knowledge. The air is thick with anticipation and dread as the worshippers call upon the black goat, seeking its dark blessings. 
Shubnigarath's offspring, the Dark Young, are monstrous entities themselves, towering tentacled beings that serve their grotesque mother. They roam the earth, spreading chaos and terror, their presence a testament to the dark power of Shubnigarath. To encounter these beings is to stare into the abyss, to confront the raw, untamed power of creation and destruction. The influence of Shabnigarath extends far beyond Lovecraft's tales, inspiring countless stories, games, and works of art. This deity embodies the primal fears of the unknown and the unnatural, serving as a symbol of cosmic horror and the limits of human understanding. As you delve deeper into the lore of Shabnigarath, you will uncover tales of ancient civilizations worshipping this dark deity, their practices steeped in mystery and blood. The cultists' unwavering devotion and willingness to embrace the unknown paints a chilling picture of the power and allure of Shabnigarath. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this next video on the top 10 werewolves that you've never heard of.